happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Dodderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us with the Sanjin DT120CL. This is an AM FM stereo headset portable radio. You can find these selling on Amazon and eBay running around 36 bucks. Represents a pretty cool bargain. I have the DT180, which is identical, but I figured I'd reintroduce this radio to the channel in a clear version. Here we are. Cool box, showing you an illustration there. Nice FM stereo, AM, pocket receiver, clear. All right, rocking. Got some bullet points on the back here. 15 presets. It's got a signal strength indicator, which I think is pretty cool. It's got a, yeah, battery power, pretty important. Of course, stereo sounds great. Okay, let's go ahead and show what came in the box. Set that aside. All right, in the box, we get star of the show. There we are, little guy. Perfect size for a pocket radio. You get a pair of headphones, which aren't too bad. Uh, I like these, the premium ones. They have, uh, I think, different grades, and it's better than most. And a bunch of paperwork. <laughs> Yay. So, uh, okay, we'll talk about the headphone experience in a little bit. But yeah, these aren't too bad. Um, they come with little foam covers. They're in the box still, but they're, I usually like using them like this. And uh, yeah, you get a nice bunch of wire there for, because this is your FM antenna, works out really well. Okay, next we get the limited warranty, which I think is 90 days on the smaller radios and a year on the bigger radios. I could be wrong, but it's 90 days. Okay, right there. Awesome. All right, put that aside. What else we got? How to read your serial number. Sweet. That's important to you. There you go. That's, uh, what else we got? I got tons of paperwork always. Okay, double check the stuff. Save you time and money. Always a good thing. And of course we have the manual. Uh, let's go ahead and go through the manual together real quick. Always for posterity, I like to do this. Uh, that way you have it uh, forever. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zoom this actually I think down a little bit, get the full frame. All right, yeah, it's got illustration here on the front. Multilingual. But it gives you a basic idea of the features here, which I'll go over. A little bit of the display there. Bring it up into camera's main thing. There you are. It's pretty cool. It has a signal strength indicator. I forgot it had that. And when I opened it up and started using this, I was like, oh, this is awesome. So battery installation. There you go. Uh, it's got uh, different stepping. Of course, you can change your AM and FM stepping, too. And I'll show you that. It's got scan tuning. It has a quick tuning setup. And of course, incremental tuning. Your presets are pretty easy to use. And of course, you got a FM stereo switch where you can turn it to mono. That's really nice if uh, you're in a spot where you want to DX FM stations. And uh, that helps a lot. DBB, dynamic bass boost. Awesome. Okay, that's how to change your FM AM stepping, which again, I'll go over. Lock stepping and reset the radio. So that's pr probably pretty important. If something's wrong with your radio, it's probably the most important page of this manual. I think we're almost done here. There you go. Specifications. Runs on two AAA batteries. Nice output power. Pretty minimal. <laughs> One milliwatt per ear. Yeah, it should run quite a while on those two AAAs. Okay, now we're in foreign language. Okay, we're done with that. All right, let's bring in the radio. Shoom. Up front and center here. Let's do a uh, dimension real quick. Uh, we have two inches in width. We have three and five eighths of an inch in height. And then we have a thickness of five eighths of an inch. Pretty awesome. Again, very slim, very cool for a pocket radio. Size comparisons, always fun. Air CC pocket in the house, 1131 PM, Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Add five hours for UTC. But as you can see, this radio is much smaller than the CC Pocket. Yeah, awesome. Cool. And then of course we always have CC Skywave in the house. It's kind of a larger radio, not really a good size comparator, but gives you a general idea. And then we have, of course, the deck of cards. If you don't have those, there we go, Iron Man. Yeah, there he is. 
It's Iron Man. He is the man with the master plan. He loves sending radios from Taiwan land. He's the Iron Man. <laughs> he loves his portable radios, man. <laughs> I have fun. You know, you got to. But yeah, look at that. He'll fit right inside the deck of cards. Beautiful. All right. Gives you an idea. Buy a engine DT one twenty CL today. <laughs> I'll do as you command, sir. <laughs> All right, let's bring it on down for some features. Yeah, pretty micro sized radio. Um, so, yeah, I mentioned you give her thirty six bucks. Links below for it. Awesome deal. It's you know, there's so many twenty dollar radios out there. Why not spend a few extra bucks and get something premium? You know, it's pretty awesome. And then you get something see through. Now they do have the black version, which I'll link down there as well. Um, I don't know how much more the black is. The black might be a few dollars more or about the same price as this. I can't remember, but it's pretty close. So, uh, but yeah, features of this, uh, we have the power button, left-hand side. Uh, power turns it on, of course. And of course, this is, controls your bands. If you hit it again, it changes the bands. So you got FM1, FM2, and the AM band there, as you can see. Pretty cool. And of course, long press off. Very simple. There's no sleep mode, which I noticed on this radio. Um, so remember to turn it off or you're changing batteries. <laughs> Let's turn it back on. Look at our display. Really cool display. It's really uh, bold, and I like that. So over here, we got a signal strength indicator, which will show up once I plug a wire into it. The battery level indicator. The band, we're on FM1. Of course, FM1, FM2, that's just for extra presets. Doesn't mean anything different. Uh, our frequency. Uh, DBB. Uh, dynamic bass boost is on. You can turn it on and off with the button. As you can see there. Nice. Up here is memory one. And you have five of them up here. And I'll show you that in a second. But there you go. So we'll go ahead and we'll power this off. So let's press and hold. Okay. So looking at the four buttons down here, we have uh, the dynamic bass boost uh, and step function. So if you want to access the step function button when the power is off, press and hold this. It'll come up with the firmware. Keep holding it. There you go. Uh, you can change the FM uh, stepping from 1 kilohertz, I'm oh, sorry, 100 kilohertz to 50 kilohertz. We'll leave it on 100. And of course, AM, you can change from 10 to 9. We'll leave it at 10. We'll lock it in, back in by hitting step. Pretty simple setup. Stereo, there's your mono or stereo button. You can turn the stereo on and off. And of course, you're tuning up and down around the front there. Uh, very simple. Um, incremental tuning up, so just tap it. Taps through the frequencies, tap down, taps through frequencies. Press, let go, it seeks. Press it, let go, it seeks up, down. And of course it has a continuous tuning. If you press and hold, it'll continuously tune. It will not stop on a station until you let go. That's nice because I've had seek radios. You press this and you're holding it and it stops on a station. It's so annoying. <laughs> you just want to keep going. Right inside of the radio, we got two volume controls. Down and up, digital volume. Not bad. <laughs> Top of the radio. Okay, so headphone jack. Headphone experience. Now, I use the provided headphones. Yes, so you'll probably have a similar experience to me if your ears are the same as mine. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the experience of these headphones. Like I said, I liked them. They were pretty fantastic. Of course, the dynamic, dynamic bass boost helps a lot on the FM music. So um, expect moderate lows using the, using the DBB. Um, strong mids and strong highs. When you're not using the dynamic bass boost, you lose the lows um, and the mids kind of fall off a little bit. So it definitely gets a brighter sound. Definitely use the dynamic bass boost on FM. You'll be very happy. There is a slight low level hiss, but it's very slight. I mean, you barely notice it. So uh, don't worry about the low level hiss at all. AM it has a nice neutral tone, great for sports talk when the DBB is off. If you engage the dynamic bass boost on AM, it really kind of lowers the tone even further, which is good for faint stations when you're trying to get some type of audible uh, speech out of it. You might try lowering the, the tone uh, control by using the deep bass boost. The only time you'll use that on AM. So there you go. Um, furthermore, uh, on top here, we have the five preset buttons. They're pretty basic. It's just a press and hold thing. So when you find a station you're on, just press and hold that button and it beeps and it tells you that you've locked that station in. You get five per band. So five on FM1, FM2, and AM giving you a total of 15 presets. Not bad. Go to the back of the radio. You can see the internals, which is pretty cool. A little crystal 
oscillator there. We got uh, a few other things going on. Some ICs, amplifiers. We got a lock switcher to lock the radio down. So when you're pocket carrying, you're not changing stations. Pretty important. As you can see, it's see-through. <laughs> it's clear as day for sure. Um, we got two AAA batteries. And I'm using alkalines. Of course, you can use rechargeables as well. I believe you just push down with your thumbnail here. There you go. And this door slides and it reveals the two batteries. The positives are pointing down in parallel, which is nice. So each battery is pointing down with their positives. And there's more circuitry in there. I don't know if I'll get that into focus. Probably can't read those numbers, but it gives you an idea what this looks like. And then, of course, we have a serial number on the inside of the door. And looking at the bottom of the radio, of course, this radio will stand. And it has a little AM ferret antenna away from the electronics, which is nice. That's about an inch and a half, just a little bit over an inch and a half. Pretty cool. Does a great job pulling in signals. I'm going to have dedicated band scans evening and day for medium wave if you're interested. So uh, FM reception report, then we'll plug this in to an external radio uh, speaker source behind here, and we'll hear what we can pick up on the FM and AM bands. So FM reception report, I base it on five-tier method. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. <laughs> Yay, thumbs up. Uh, this scored a very a good to very good, which is a three-and-a-half star rating. It found 76 stations. Its sensitivity is fantastic. Um, an analog, a basic analog receiver like this finds about 48 stations. Boy, that's a huge radio. Look at that. <laughs> dee, dee, dee. This runs on a 9 volt, I think, even. This found 48 stations. This gets an okay to good rating, which is average for an analog radio. But these digital radios tend to do a little bit better. And Sanjin's known for great sensitivity and selectivity on the FM band. So also on selectivity, it scored a good to very good. I found stations right in between where I shouldn't. I was pretty impressed. Of course, it took a lot of maneuvering this 48-inch uh, antenna wire, part of your headphone wire, to try to get that signal to improve. Moving it around, you, you know what I mean. You really got to try to get that signal by uh, extending your wire out a little bit, holding it above your head. <laughs> That's what I was doing to get those stations, but it worked. Um, so... Very cool. So yeah, you know, you got a 48-inch uh, dipole antenna. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so, and again, of course, with FM reception, half of those stations, I said 76 stations, they came in with stereo reception. So that was a really cool thing. Uh, this radio gets great stereo sound, and the reception is fantastic for stereo. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug it in, and we'll do some scan into the airwaves. So I got speakers here, and we just move some stuff out of the way. So yeah, we'll plug in our speaker here. All right, cool. Turn this on behind there. Go ahead, turn this on. It's definitely a real passion for him. So I want to hear what your passion is as far as spending your leisure time at 833. Digital volume, very smooth. You can get it very low, which is nice. Signal strength. You can see you got a few bars there now that I have the wire plugged in. Or memory one. Deep bass boost, I'll just leave it on. Battery life. Well, thank you. FM1. Um, I was listening, and it's, it's been fascinating listening to your, to your listeners and all the we'll things that they do. Six percent of UK professors are black, whereas 8% of science undergraduates are black. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's such a dire problem still today. Yes, it's telling you, know, normally people talk about the pipeline, and the question is here, well, what's happening to this pipeline? We said, see, we could all... Uh, Sounds good. I'm loco, we the plan is to put the rat game in the... Today's variety is the mix. Your craze was deeper. Stereo. My shame was wild. Full strength. So I'm going to go down a little bit here. It's, it's skipping some stations. Sleek tuning locks on the strongest. So this is my new station. 
I'm gonna lift the wire up, see if I can't get it coming better. And we're here to get your job done right. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. The same jury and on other news uh, at this hour at uh, 11.43 of this. I've so yeah, WBBM Chicago. From the Army Corps of Engineers to a new... Ski as well, there's an angel and he stirs the water and people. Boy, it's really driving past the uh, stations. Letting go of worries I can't measure. Holding the wire. <laughs> Holding the college degree. I need a little more. <laughs> Back to the classical station. <laughs> okay, I think we're done with the FM. We get the idea how that works. Really nice. Should have just held this wire up in the beginning. <laughs> Drivers who switch and save with progressives save nearly seven. It's just a three foot patch wire. Okay, you get the idea. Oh, that's game in. Nice. Or this will come in. It's a rock station. Nope. Okay. Alright, so we'll just set that down. We're going to go to medium wave. Here we can pick up on the AM band. Yeah. So you saw the presets work. And television for that matter. And John Mark go. Monday night. Incremental tuning. And of course, you can press and hold. This is the fantastic part. It just goes pretty quick and you can just hold this and you can stop it anywhere you want. Now when you let go, of course, it seeks still. Nice. Stopped. So, yeah, it's a nice setup. I like this. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the AM band. So there's FM2. And consistently light. You might Presets. just find that the... MasterCard rewards gift card. How did you know that? You are Okay, AM band, cool. So now, instead of using this wire for the FM antenna, we're using the internal ferrite bar antenna there with its coil of wire to pick to pick up the AM signals. And of course, you have to turn the radio towards the station you're trying to receive. So you gotta aim that horizontal edge of that antenna bar towards your station. Let's go ahead and turn up the volume. We're picking up a station here. Could barely make it out. You could bring a Turk Advantage loop in, which I think I will. Uh, this is fun. This is something you probably won't use with a headset radio. But well, since I have one, <laughs> this is a Turk Advantage passive loop. I'll put it right next parallel to where the antenna is. I'm going to tune it. Deep bass boost off, it just brightens up. I could just make out some voices, not much there, but I'll keep that handy. Alright, cool, let's keep going. Alright, and this is a fluid situation, right? So, as far as I know right now, they've come out and said that all the deposits are going to be made whole. And that so, here's 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, I believe. Like they can get their assets that are impaired on interest rates made whole by the Fed and then give that money out. Now, again, if everybody takes it out of the system, then you have other problems. But near term, yes, it seems that you can get your money out. Okay, cause, so my question when we come back is, how is that not... As in spaghetti sandwiches for dinner? They're my face. Dad, you're the ghost. KTRS, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watts. Wrong way. But just don't be late. Sean Hannity is on. Mm -hmm. 
So W A U. Uh, no, I already said that. Five sixty W I N D Chicago. It's pretty awesome. You can pick up a lot with this at night, which is fantastic for a little headset radio. Sit in bed with it. DX at night. <laughs> oh, nice. This is a WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. 140 miles to the east, 5,000 watts. It could be one thing for people to provide an intervention. Sometimes the best person in Tennessee is you. And think about this. Seven years ago, John Moran was hoping to get a college scholarship. Really helps in the faint signals. From a small town in South Carolina called Dowdville, population. of the Chargers. The Chargers and he are unable to come to terms on a contract extension, so he is getting permission to pursue a trade. And first from the, from the perspective, it's unfortunately... Kansas City, I Missouri, 400 miles, 5,000 watts to the southwest. Uh, going to be 28, which is, you know, you're getting in the late middle age now. Nice. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Point road win in Sacramento. 52 miles, 10,000 watts. 46 from Giannis, 31 from Chris Middleton, and 23 from Brooke Lopez. Okay, I'm aiming it towards where Chatham, Ontario is, but it does not sound like CFCO. Um, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. It sounds kind of like KYFI of St. Louis, Missouri, which is 275 miles, 5,000 watts. They got a religious station that sounds kind of like religious music. Yeah, that's KYFI. <laughs> So mixing stations here. This is uh, WMFN Pietone, Illinois. 75 miles, 600, 1600 watts. Over here is WOI Ames, Iowa. 265 miles, 1000 watts. That station was uh, 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. I couldn't hover on the music. Uh, that is 434 miles to the south. Okay, here we're picking up uh, a little hint of WFAN. And that is uh, New York, New York. 750 miles to the northeast, but it's real, next to a real strong station, 670. To my home, or that I could shop by price on Auto Trader. No one, consider this friendship that you just 670 to score, to CR, Chicago. Over. Finally, it's easy. Auto Trader. Mark Rohde on 670 to score. So it's Rogers. Home of the Cubs. I don't know if I mentioned, but the popping sound you're hearing on the speaker. Uh, on headphones is, is barely noticeable. It's not a thing. Um, it's just with the external speaker you hear it. Yes, I'm looking at the Upside app now, and there's a gas station at the next exit offering 25 cents per gallon cash. WLW 700 Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back. Try to destroy each other. So we're getting a syndicated radio station from 670 and 710. And I'm not sure what sports station is in this direction. Northwest or southeast on 710. I'm going to have to look that up. If I find something, I'll post it here. If I don't, maybe you can comment below and tell me. Hmm. This way it disappears. 
That's a little hint of WOR, New York, New York. Okay, let's keep going. Paris, Mike Houston, Lindholm Roofing, and Mega Pros Jeremy from Mega Pros Home Improvement. Download podcast to previous shows and submit all your questions at 720 WGN Chicago. Chicago with me, David Hochberg, this Saturday at 10, right here on WGN. In St. Pete, Clearwater, Florida, the fun extends beyond... I got a shout-out on WGN. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Only got a few more minutes left here. Just wanted to show you kind of what this can do. It's a great little radio. So here in music, we have CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. WSB, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. What is your healing power? Performance in to Leslie, but it doesn't matter because, of course, diversity above all by supporting actors. WGR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Now, the, the big shutout here, and it's worth noting here, the big shutout here. He has just in the White House. He has the White House. He has everything you can imagine as the president of our great country. The rest of us. WABC 770, New York, New York, 750 miles northeast. Hyundai pre-driven vehicle, HuntuLuxuryImports.com. Looking for a luxury, exotic, or high-performance vehicle? HuntuLuxuryImports.com. Want low finance rates and no payments till June? HuntuLuxuryImports.com. Where? <laughs> WBBM Chicago. Old time radio Monday through Friday, uh, 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time. So if you can tune it in um, in your area, listen to some old time radio shows. I do every night. Come a little quicker, and then we'll give you final thoughts on this. Hi, this is Ernie Brown. You know, from a custom tile shower to Kohler bath system, exclusive to statewide remodeling. Statewide has all the options to give you a luxurious new bathroom, and who doesn't want that? You want a quick refresh? Well, the Renewity Advanced Bathroom solution can be installed in as little as one day. Coming all clear here, WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles. Nice. Experience statewide designer. Once you're ready, the bathroom will be professionally installed and ready for you to enjoy. Call this number, 888-450-0564. 888-450-0564. And save 20% on a custom bath installation with a spring saving sale and get 12 months with no oh, interest and no suck, payment. Right? <laughs> and for a limited time, the first 15 callers get a free $50 Amazon gift card with an in-home... All right, forget that. I ain't waiting. ...evacuation. It, from Bagram, it would have been orderly and secure. John, I, you know, as soon as... This WCCO, day, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles to the west. On your show here, I was dumb. It just has to happen. We have to know this. Yeah, no, I, and I appreciate it, and we will... Ground Zero on WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, 300 miles. South, southeast. Coast to coast, from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. How do you guys know that? A client this morning, I'm like... A couple stations. Guessing the commercial there's KOA 850, uh, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles to the west. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. Eight seventy WWL New Orleans, Louisiana, eight hundred and sixty five miles to the south. Awesome. Asbestos claims not law to get tested. You can call 8334-ASBESTOS. I chose them because of the personal touch that you get. The technology to capture critical assets. So you can get priority points to capture. Lock and unlock your doors. Access your trailers. Arm and get on your system. All right from your phone. So just picking up WCBS, New York, New York. Well, I'll see you on panic. So I'm just going to press and hold this, and uh, we're just going to go up the band a little bit. 
to help people keep their body parts and keep their function. I'm thinking of someone in particular who Here's 1030 WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, always easy to get 880 miles. It's a strong station. Must be on a really tall tower. <laughs> nice. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity. WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 Northwest miles. And then we'll go all the way to the top of the band to 1610. Again, I'm having full band scans, so this is pretty easy. Of course, wherever I stop, it's going to find something. But we'll just go to 1610. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. Cool. Go up to 1700, see if there's anything there. It'll come in better. Okay, this is KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa. I believe it's 280 miles to the west. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just turn this off, do final thoughts. So, press and hold, power off. Alright, so unplug this. So, yeah. Awesome. So what do you think? Sanjin DT120CL uh, for 36 bucks. You know, it's a great little radio. It's clear. <laughs> That's the cool part. Um, you show off the insides, look all hip. Um, I, I like it. I think it's pretty amazing. The included headphones are decent, um, surprisingly, even though they're really uh, flimsy wires. I don't know how long it's going to last, but uh, they work really well. Um, get an FM band and have some fun. I mean, this FM band's where it's at, an FM stereo, and you can DX on AM all night long and during the day. Uh, gotta mention that daytime AM reception is fantastic. You'll get to hear that in my band scans. Um, just expect great locals, semi-locals, and even di distant stations are possible during the day with this radio. So it gets a big thumbs up for me, uh, even though it's been, this radio's been out for quite a long time. Um, definitely still a viable radio to have in your pocket. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the video. Two, if you like Sanjin Radio, subscribe at the bell icon, and three, comment below what you think about the 120 CL. Would you add it to your arsenal of radios if you're one of those people who have more than one? <laughs> or would you get this if you were thinking of a headset radio? What do you think? Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.